It's a wonderful way to build relationships, uh, to build it through education. We did that with Asia. We, uh, we started with the Colombo Plan. We can do the same with Latin America, and we should. Latin American students really see that Australia has very high quality education when they know about it. They don't always know about it, but the ones that know about it recognise that we have very high quality. But they recognise that we are world class, that we have many universities in the top 100, top 200, but they also recognise that we offer very practical degrees and they see the real strength of Australia is that we offer practical, practical degrees, things that are useful. So a lot of our postgraduate degrees are very multidisciplinary. They love the fact that they can study water and they can study all aspects of water. They can study social aspects of water, technical aspects of water, how to manage water, water regulation in the one postgraduate degree and that's a real strength of Australia. As far as I can tell, there's about five of us in the country who work on Latin America full-time that are thinking about it full-time. And of that, two or three of us are doing political economy, most of the other people are doing culture and literature. So what we need is we need educational programs, we need degree programs people can follow, um, we need different voices. At the moment, uh, at the Australian National Centre for Latin American Studies, there's three of us. That's not enough voices. We need five or six or seven voices. Uh, the plans are foot, which get even more interesting, is if we can start to do twin degrees. And I think the one that would really capture the attention of the mining companies and business is when we start doing twin, twin degrees. You can do a double major Latin American degree and one in engineering or in environmental sciences or hard sciences. And that gives you the, the mix that's needed. Well, there's a lot of blogs out there, there's a lot of websites out there, but most of them are based out of either Latin America, the United States, or Europe. And it, where's the Australian kick? Where's the Australian flavor, whether it's implicit or explicit? And one of the things that we're doing at ANCLASS, at the Australian National Center for Latin American Studies, to try and address this, is we now run a, a blog, ANCLASS.net. And it's essentially just to get some ideas and some analysis out into the Australian marketplace.